back with world title challenger Gary Cochran from London. Gary, welcome to the KO Boxing Show. Oh, cheers for having me on, Peter, mate. No, great to have you on. Gary, obviously COVID's hit everyone pretty hard. You were lucky before COVID. You actually had twins and congratulations to you and your lovely wife for, you know, the achievement, having twins. But since that situation and COVID now, how's it placed over in Britain? Yeah, it's certainly it. The rates are starting to come down a bit. Turn about. We're just we're keeping our distance still from everything at the moment. Pubs, everything are closed at the moment. But everything's going well where I live anyway. It's not not many people got it. So, okay, just keeping away, keeping our distance from people. So that's all we can do at the moment. Gary, I recently interviewed Jeff Horn. He said you were one hell of a tough guy and you gave him nightmares. So everyone in Australia, we... We really love you here and we love your fighting spirit and style. Yeah, and, and I went over your record. All your, your three losses have been in the 11th round. It, it, it's like Jeff Horn in the ninth round. It must be your bogey round. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of bad luck. It's a bit of bad luck. It was all 12 rounds. I've done 12 rounds with Larry I can do. And when I beat him at 12 rounds, I was like, that's a broken. That, that was a broken. But things happened that last fight. The last fight I should have beat him. I just... I overlooked things, done things wrong. So uh, it was a big learn for me, big learn. And for the last year and a half now, now two years coming up, I feel a lot better of a fighter. I've looked at things, what I should have been doing. And I think when I do come back, I'll be a lot better fighter. You'll be at middleweight, so we're at middleweight. Now, Gary, you think you, your welterweight days are over and junior middleweight days yeah, maybe yeah. later on? Will, will I was the weight. At welterweight, my own opinion at welterweight, I fought Larry. Larry, at 12 rounds, done 12 rounds with Larry. But when I beat him, a few, after six or seven rounds, it was like I was going to stop him. I was beating him up, beating him up. I was going to stop him. The gas went, the tank went. It just went like that. I just didn't have the tank. Came to eighth or ninth round. I got, I got my second win. I got my second win. I beat him. I beat him a few rounds near the end. But I met hard work. Box, boxing Jeff Horn. Box Jeff Horn is a big fight for me to stay at welterweight. And in my own head, I could, I could do it. So when I got a world title shot at it, I was like, I have to grab with both hands. How and did, no, I was going to say, how, how did you find Australia? How did you find the people fighting Jeff very Horn? Good. I found it very good. I found it very, very, I trained hard over there. I trained hard very well over there. And I enjoyed it. And the people, everyone was nice to me over there. Yeah, I remember people you were boxing. Gym. Yeah, how did you find? Yeah. How did you yeah, find it was Jeff? Jeff Horn, very nice fella. He's a very nice fella. Got on with him well. Got on with him well. And nice you spoke got... very nice. Can you can you hear me, Peter? Yeah, no, I can hear you. You guys put on a wall. We loved it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for six rounds, seven rounds, I had the energy. I had the energy for six or seven rounds, seven rounds, and after that, I blew out. I blew out. Of, just I never had the energy. Never had the energy. Well, I'm not making excuses. Don't want to make excuses for it. Six or seven rounds, I could never do it. It's like I was grown. I grew out of the weight. But in my own head, I could do it. I could do it. if I. If I but I was draining myself, doing it all the time. Draining, and I was stuck in between weights all the time. Now, when I left it, when I left away from the sport, I'm a lot bigger. I'm a lot bigger of a fighter. A lot bigger now. When I'm spar when when I'm when I'll spar now, like I would be a bit, lot better fighter. I'm hitting harder. Yeah, they carry with and yeah. It affected me, but Jeff for me, and I think I can get there again. Okay, who are some of the fighters you'd like to fight in Australia? Because your profile's big down here now. Yeah, I would like to fight uh, Mundine. Yeah, Mundine, round fight, Mundine, it'll be a nice fight. Or uh, I like a rematch with Jeff Horn. Yeah, that'd be great. And, and Tim Zhu, they're the big names over there. So I'd be looking at them for three names and to fill my name, get, get it back up there for a world title shot. So I'll be happy to fight them. You're only 29, Gary, and you performed so well here in Australia. The fight was basically stopped because of your eye and the cuts and you were putting on a massive effort. So... You're welcome back here any time. Yeah, not many, not many people know what happened when when I got that cut on the eye. I didn't really go into it. Didn't really go into it. 
like a w- ten days before our fight, I got split over the eye. Oh. I told I was yeah, I got a cut in the eye on sparring, in sparring. Then I was doing it into the first round, I got a cut over the eye, cut over the right in sparring and you get on with it, I get on with it. But I knew it was always gonna split in the fight. And when it split, the eye he just kept hitting it. When he kept hitting it, the eye swelled over and uh my trainer said to me in the fight, he said, Gary, we had to pull it in the eleven round. We had to pull it, he said, because he said, two of your side of your eyes were starting to attach. And it was that or your career. And he said, he said, Gary, we had to stop it. No, fair enough. Here's Sham Butra going here, friend over in London, is he? Still Yeah, he's yeah, he's good. When I was speaking to him, he was good. He was good. I haven't been speaking, I haven't spoken to him for the last two weeks, three okay. weeks. So uh Everything, everything at the moment is nice and uh, keeping everything quiet at the moment. I haven't really heard anything about the boxing at the moment. Just heard a few fights, like in behind doors, but it's not going to be the same, is it, at the moment? So uh, I would just love to get back next year, hopefully, even the start, start end of this year. Hopefully, get back to doing what we're doing best. For sure, Gary. And you mentioned those three names: uh, Jeff Horn, Anthony Mundine, or Tim Zoo. I'm sure with your name and profile and the way you came to Australia and put in such a massive fight up against Jeff Horn that you'll be welcome back here anytime and all the promoters will be gathering to get hold of you for sure. Now that you're available, you've got a terrific record, you're only 29 years of age and you're ready to come back hard into the sport. Yes, Peter, mate. Uh, I am a free agent now, Peter. I'm a free agent now and I'm looking for... a I'm looking someone for management. Even Peter, if you can help me over there, it'd be good. Yeah, no, no I'd love to help you, Gary. I'd love to help you. And I know you were with Eddie. Uh, no, actually, you were with um, who? Who are you Frank with? Warren. Frank Warren, who's a massive promoter. But no, that's, that's great. That's, yeah, that cancelled. That cancelled my contract for year about two years ago now. So uh, it's time to get on to the second chapter of my career, and uh, hopefully. You can help me, Peter. No, I'd love to, Gary. And it's great that you're a free agent now so we can make these fights happen. Thank you for your time, my friend. And keep training hard and keep doing what you're doing. Obviously, in lockdown, and because it's pretty, the epidemic's really wild over in, in the UK. And I know it's been a lot of cases. So stay safe, stay happy, and all the best with your family. And pretty soon, hopefully, we'll get you to Australia for some of these big fights when the epidemic's over and boxing's back. Cheers, Peter, mate. Cheers for having me on the show, mate. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Gary.